Life is what happens when we're busy making plans, am I right, friends? It is the week after Christmas, and I had the greatest intentions of doing cleaning and organizing projects this week while we were off of school, and my nephews that I also homeschool were at home with their mom. And wouldn't you know it, I came down the evening of Christmas Day with a pretty gnarly head cold, and I have done not a whole lot but sit in bed for the last week. And while I sat in bed, I got to stare at uh, Christmas Magic Ground Zero here on my side of our master bedroom. And after about four days of laying in bed looking at all of this, I decided I was done, but I wasn't quite back to normal energy. So if you appreciate a realistic, I didn't even put my contacts on for you kind of clean with me video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let's do this. All right. I'm gonna start by making my bed. I have been laying in bed sick for a few days now and we have a dog who loves to snuggle and take the very best care of me, but you know, it, it was getting a little, a little dingy, so it was time, it was time. So I'm gonna take my bed apart here and I'm gonna do the laundry in order of what needs to go back on my bed. Um, so I'm just sort of making piles and a lot of these throw pillows. Oh, there's my helper. You can see he's very concerned about me pulling my bed apart here. Now, I am only doing this little side of the room, both for energy's sake, but also because you can see my husband's uh, C-suite corner office there on the other side of the room. So that is his domain and I don't mess with it unless asked. So. I don't have the energy for it anyway, so all the better. Yep, there, Blake. I have to scoot, buddy. All right, and now a lot of these pillows are just throw pillows, so I don't take them apart to wash them every time I do my bed, but I decided it was time. So lots of pillows, lots of pillowcases, throwing those in too. So, all right, now my nightstand. This has just collected all the things. I've got Christmas cards, I've got Kleenex, I've got a little portable humidifier there, which is fantastic. I was so thankful for that thing while I was sick. I'll leave a link down below if you are interested. It is battery powered and rechargeable and portable. So super convenient. Um, but I have my stocking and all of the candy that my kids and husband got me, as well as some of the leftover candy that I put in the kids' stockings. Um, I've got Christmas cards. I've got the charger for my new electric temperature controlled mug. Um, my computer lives here, a couple other things. I've got camera gear out <laughs> from recording Christmas videos. Um, tape, scissors, wrapping supplies, all of the things, a couple kids toys that have wandered in here. So just sort of like separating everything, uh, getting it where it goes, putting my candy away so it's not sitting out. Uh, lots of garbage, just throwing away garbage. Anybody else just sort of accumulate um, and putting everything back where it goes. Most of this stuff already has a home to belong in. I just need to actually sort through and put it in that home, so. Now, one thing you'll see me doing here is taking pictures of people's addresses. If you send me a Christmas card, um, I love to see the pictures and read the letters, and I usually will keep those for a while, but the envelopes, I go ahead and toss so that everything is taking up less space, but I do take a picture of the address on the envelope so that I can find it later. All right, on to the other side. I am going through the wrapping paper bin after the kids have been in it, wrapping their gifts. There's usually some scraps and garbage down on the bottom. So I'm clearing that out, putting away the wrapping paper rolls. There's a couple that are too tall for this bin, but 
they have room in a storage closet downstairs. So just getting everything tucked back into this box so that I can get some help carrying it to the basement. Um, my kids knew that I was not feeling great, so they were being fairly helpful at putting things away where they went so that I wasn't doing infinite number of trips up and down the stairs. I do keep all other occasion wrapping paper under my bed, so things like birthdays and baby showers, I have those a little more easily available than the once a year Christmas paper. So I had a couple things that had snuck out. One of my kids had gone to a birthday party, so I'm just replacing those, putting them away. And now it's on to this side. Got some things that just got set down those away these shopping bags you guys are my very favorite they are so big and sturdy and um, not easily see-through so when I buy things and I have to get them in the house I keep these bags in my car so that I can put whatever I bought into the big bags to carry them up to my room and put them away so that the kids don't see me walking in with them so and they collapse down really small so I'm just folding all of those back up kids are coming in to run errands for me and at this point I'm pretty winded <laughs> I'm getting tired it's getting harder got some peppermint tea there which is helping in my new ember Wi-Fi temperature control mug which is phenomenal I got my husband one for Christmas last year and he loved it so much that he got me one for Christmas this year so I'll leave that link down below um, it's pretty great I'm not gonna lie and now comes the great cardboard marathon. So many boxes. If you are new here, I have eight of my own children plus my grandson. I have an unofficial bonus child and my grandson's father. So that makes, if you're counting, 11 kids, air quotes, kids, that I bought and planned and wrapped presents for this Christmas. So. There were a whole lot of boxes involved, so now I'm just breaking down, taking the instructions out of anything I need to keep, and getting rid of all of the rest of the boxes. Yep, definitely tired. I am thankful to have curbside recycling at home. Uh, it's a huge help for stuff like this. So all of this can go straight out to our bin that will get picked up from our house. I don't have to load it up in my car or take it anywhere. Um, super thankful for that. That's a huge help. We go through a lot of recyclables in a week, so I'm thankful that we have that easy access. Last couple little things getting put away from the corner. Some cricket supplies that fell out of my cart while I was working on gifts. Look at all that cardboard. All right, now that I got all that out of there and things put away, I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum at all the paper scraps and crumbs and things that have accumulated over the last couple weeks. And now it's time to make the bed again. Um, at this point, like I said, I did the laundry in order of what needed to go back on the bed. So I've got the pillowcases and the fitted sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and get those back on.
we are a no top sheet family here. Um, I grew up in a top sheet family, but nobody else in my house will use them. And so I have surrendered that battle and I don't bother. I don't really mind. Um, it was just strange to me at first. So getting this put on, adjusted, bed skirt put back on neatly, all that jazz. And this is about where I ran out of steam. I mostly sat on my bed and waited for the laundry to finish for the rest of the night. But from the next morning, I did make sure to take some shots of the final product. Here it is. It's still not perfect, but it feels so much better and it is definitely cleaner. So here's the before. And the after. So much better. Well, friends, if you are feeling overwhelmed with your own home, I hope that this has given you some realistic motivation to jump in and do as much as you can. Obviously, my energy was extremely limited, and this was just a small little bit of what my house really needs, but it did help me feel better. Thanks for being here. I love you. You are worth your own hard work.